Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Our update for Friday, May 10th, 2019. Got a free pick coming up in just a moment. First, a quick note, if you're new to these videos, if you've never been a member over at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, got a real cool way you can do that. You click on the link below the video, you get yourself set up for a free $60 account, and you can use those free 60 bucks on any of my daily packages over at DocSports.com. Again, all you gotta do is click on the link below the video to get started, set yourself up for that free $60 account. I think you'll be glad that you did. Well, we talked about it yesterday's video. What's going to happen with that point spread when Kevin Durant, if he's announced out, and we see what's happened. The Houston Rockets right now, as we speak, a seven-point favorite at home in Game 6 over the Golden State Warriors. We're going to be in a little bit of action on that game over at DocSports.com, and that pick will be available on Friday morning. So are baseball plays on Friday morning also. We've handicapped the card, and we've got at least one standout play in Major League Baseball for Friday. Those plays, again, available Friday morning only at DocSports.com. No hockey today. We'll be in action in Saturday's Game 1 of the Western Conference, however. Now, listen, we're doing these picks a little bit early on Thursday because I'm actually going to head to the book, one of the books on the strip with a couple of buddies, and we're going to sit back and watch uh, the late game in the NBA. And then, of course, we'll come back on Saturday morning's video and update how we did. Uh, but that's why we're doing these a little bit earlier than normal tonight. But we've handicapped everything for Friday. Friday, and I uh, can't wait to jump into the Rockets and the Warriors on Friday over at DocSports.com along with Major League Baseball. Free pick in just a moment. First, a quick note. Want to jump right back into the NFL thumbnail sketches. We're going to talk about the Cincinnati Bengals on this particular report tomorrow. It'll be the Baltimore Ravens. But as far as since he's concerned, over under win total in most shops are going to be about six. I like the under. I think it's going to be a long season as this team looks to go through that transitional phase. Got rid of Marvin Lewis and his staff. Listen, I like Marvin Lewis, but it grew weary. It grew tired what he was trying to do with this organization. And they've just been dropping. They've been heading in the wrong direction. So you got the new coaching staff coming in, but there's still some issues. Listen, as far as what happened to this team on defense, they gave up way too much yardage, as you probably know. Over 410 yards per game allowed by the Bengal defense. I didn't like the acquisition they made in the offseason. I'll just be straightforward and candid with you. I thought they stunk those offseason acquisitions. I like what they did in the draft. This kid, Rennell Wren, I think he's going to make immediate impact and noise at the defensive tackle position. As far as the offense is concerned, they did address some issues with that offensive line. We'll see if Andy Dalton can get better under a new coaching staff. The bad part about last year's offense is that he was bottom third in most key passing categories. Accuracy was down. I mean, it was just a rough year overall, obviously, for the Cincinnati Bengals. Bye-bye, Marvin Lewis. Here comes the new staff. We'll see what happens there. As far as the schedule is concerned, again, it's not overly daunting, but I just don't like the look of this team going into 2019. You look at their first four games of the season, three of the first four are on the road, and you look at the teams they're playing, and you can see where this team probably at best through four games, one and three, very good chance they're 0 and 4 by the time they get through those first four games, and then it's a matter if this team wants to even really play or not. Uh, but here's the key thing for the Cincinnati Bengals and teams of their ilk. We can make money on Cincinnati late in the season when their opponents are overvalued for whatever reason, whether it be that you know, opponents are fighting for a playoff spot, they've had a great year, and then we get too many points with Cincy, we jump in and we grab them. That's what I think we're going to be able to do with the Bengals in 2019. As far as that over-under wins total, guys and girls, I think it's going to stay under six. I have Cincy winning five games, losing 11 this upcoming 2019 season. So under six wins, Cincinnati Bengals. And again, on tomorrow's video, we'll wrap up this division with the Baltimore Ravens. Real quick again, before we get to the free pick, NBA Golden State Houston game six. It'll be available from me on Friday over at DocSports.com. Headed into Thursday, not having those results yet. We're on a 35 and 18 run over the last several weeks in the NBA, up over $5,100 for those wagering just $100 per unit. Been a real nice run. We appreciate those of you who have jumped on board. I'll be in baseball action on Friday, so check it all out Friday morning exclusively at DocSports.com. Free pick for Friday, excuse me, yeah, for Friday night's card. We're going to go back to Chavez Ravine. It's the Nationals taking on the Dodgers, and in this particular pitching matchup, 
uh, which includes Sanchez for Washington, I think you're going to see a whole lot of runs being scored. Now, the total is eight. Uh, there's juice on the over. I've got about 15 books on my screen and about four or five in Vegas, and then the rest are offshore. And as I look at the screen, you know, there's juice as high as minus $1.18, minus $1.20 on the over. But there's also shops where you can get it right around minus $1.10. So bottom line is shop. Over eight is the play. We talked about this Washington bullpen on yesterday's video. It's horrendous. Uh, they're in 30th as we speak. As far as their bullpen ERA is concerned, well over six. The Dodgers bullpen isn't as bad as Washington, not by a long shot, but it's also nothing to write home about. So I think you're going to see both bullpens with a chance to give up some runs here. And when you look at how these teams have done so far this year, Dodgers at home against righties, Washington on the road against righties, both teams have been outstanding in run scoring production in tonight's situation. I expect both teams to score some runs. We like the over eight between the Nationals and the Dodgers. That's your free pick for Friday. Again, over eight Nats and Dodgers on Friday's baseball slate. That's going to do it for us uh, for this report. Listen, again, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, just want to give it a trial run, click on the link below the video, get set up for that free $60 account. You can use it on any of my daily packages or anybody else's over at DocSports.com. All right, listen, if you like these videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any videos. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. Let's put Friday in the win column. I'll be right back here Saturday, no later than 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. We'll talk to you then.